This week, we welcome La into the channel. La is an artist, DJ, and also makes music production content on his own channel, Out of the Loop. We've also been good friends for a number of years and collaborated on a release called Together on Monster Cat Silk. Matt's rise in the industry has been nothing short of impressive. In just a few years of releasing, he's found himself in labels like Anjuna Deep, Colorize, Stress Records, Zero Three, Monster Cat Silk, and more. His signature sound is very well defined as warm and groovy, often towing the line between UK Garage, Breakbeat, and Melodic House. And today he's going to be writing a track from scratch with Basic Waves. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe. The bigger we get, the bigger the artists get. And on that note, let us know who you'd like to see next on the channel. And now, over to La. What's up, guys? Matt here, uh, aka La. I imagine Jules is just in uh, like an intro thing for me, so I probably don't need to talk that much about myself. All right, so uh, yeah, here we are in Ableton. I'm in Ableton 12. I've just recently got it, so um, I might be a bit, you know, all over the place with um, some of the new parameters. But uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to make, but I'm going to try and make something moody, as I said. So I'm going to put the BPM up quite a lot. I'm going to go to like one, two, eight. So uh, yeah pretty fast and uh, yeah I'll talk you through a little bit of the template so I've got obviously a kick channel and this has just got all the uh, basic wave kicks uh, so I just put it into a drum rack and it's just easier for me to flick through the kicks that I like and then uh, same with all the other drums so I've got the hats I've loaded a bunch of them into this hat rack and then claps we've got a bunch of claps and snares in here and then perks loads of perks in here uh, all from the basic wave packs that Jules provided um, and then yeah simps so we got diva and serum and then I've got the external simps here so it's got like the moog and the hydra and then audio channels underneath that I record into uh, yeah that is it and then uh, we've got acoustic here this is just basically pianos I, I love using pianos in, in um, like pretty much every single song so I'm using the lab and the noir and then just this empty audio thing here to, to put drones and stuff like that on uh, on the master I've got a pro L so like a limiter I do produce into a limiter for whatever reason uh, it's mostly just to stop the clipping when I'm filming but also I do like it to, to kind of just compress slightly and also it um yeah it just prevents me from like distorting or going over or anything like that but yeah you'll see how i use it as we're going along so um yeah let's begin i guess uh in fact i want to set up a little return channel i'm going to put a shimmer on here i always forget to do this on my template and then i have to do it afterwards so yeah i'll put a shimmer here put this all the way over so this would be nice for like just adding a bit of atmosphere just mix it like a take away a bit of the lows um and that is it and maybe a chorus as well is quite fun to play with try to have these things on like return channels rather than directly onto the sounds it just helps with mixing and just do this put the amount a bit higher uh, yeah i can play around with this afterwards okay cool so yeah Let's begin, I guess. I don't really know where to start, maybe with some kind of drone. Um, so we'll go to this pack. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to add some of this vocal from Lauren Lamont, um, which we'll come back to. First, let's get some kind of atmosphere going. So where are we? Uh, I think you just have a look in here. Drones. <laughs> nice that's cool these are all really nice I'm trying to find something that's a little bit moody This one is really nice. I think I'm going to use this. Okay, let's just turn it right down. Nice. And we're just working this little loop here. 
Uh, maybe I'll get one more. It's like textures and things like that. I think I saw he had this texture, atmosphere, rhythms. This could be good. Actually, no, I don't want to shape the rhythm just yet because I'm going to do it with the drums. So, yeah, we'll do some drums. I uh, will start with a little loop. And I actually found a cool loop in these packs when I was just checking out the samples. There's one in... Yeah, here, and I marked it. Really crazy, weird loop, and I love it. So I'm gonna put that in, turn it down. Um, but it's in a different key, it's in C sharp, which isn't really an issue, because I can just take away the kind of tonal thing of it. I kind of just want the hats and the, the shuffles in it. Maybe even just cut it up. Or we can just EQ away the 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 kick uh, the bassy thing. Where are we? Or even just use a small part of it. So. Have like that. What if we just go? In fact, before I do this, I'm going to get some normal drums going on, and then that will give me an idea of what I actually want to keep. So, let's start with just like a classic hat. Get the rhythm going. I'm just going to pick any random one. We'll do this. Yeah, nice soft hat. Why have I done this so big? <laughs> Let's just work here. Maybe a little bit bolder. See, the thing with that glitchy loop is it's not really in the same groove, so I'm gonna have to just adjust that. Yeah, that's a good hat. Okay, so let's just adjust this. So what I'll do is maybe put it on 16s, put it in beats mode, and quantize it. That's better. And then I'll put some swing on before I do the other drums. Um, I like using this 16, this one, that's like my go-to. Something is very loud, I just need to turn this down a bit. I'm going to put a compressor on here because it's a little bit jumpy in volume. Feels like it's gradually going out of time. Is that because I've copied this in a weird way? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, um, yeah, we'll build up on this. So let's get a kick going. And I'm, um, yeah, did I put the swing on this? Yeah, I did. So I get a kick going. Now, yeah, could do. I feel like doing breaks now because of these sounds, so I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Could do F because that's what we're in. Yeah, something like that. Maybe not this double kick here. Let's just copy it from here. Let's just take that one away. Do a double kick here. Yeah, 
Yeah, something like that. We'll put the swing on it as well so it doesn't sound so out of time. There's too many kicks really here. I think maybe we just don't do this double kick. Want to keep adding more kicks. Maybe I'll try this as well. I still feel like that hat is sliding out of time. Okay, let's keep it pretty stiff. Well, not stiff, but you know what I mean. The same. I want to see what's going on with this hat. Yeah, it was slightly going out of time. I must have been copying the loop wrong. Okay. Okay, so now let's get a little snareage going on. Uh, this. Well, I'd like to do it over like a, a bit of a long period because I'm going to do some variants on it. Let's just pick a random... Put the swing on. Let's go from the top. Like that. It's got that kind of acoustic feel. And then we're going to do like this. By the way, I apologize in advance for my uh, head bopping. I do a lot of, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just get, I get a bit into it. Probably looks a bit odd. And then we do a little... Yeah, copy this over, and then we'll do some other little bits in between. Cool. I should just do this. Be a bit lazy. I love just little glitchy weird things like that. So I tried to put them in. All right. Let's roll with that for now. Let's build up the hats a bit more. Let's put it on 16. I want like a classic kind of. Some other little bits in between. This is a bit too bold. Something similar to this would work, which is kind of like this six one. I just have this quieter. Yeah. Maybe a little rolling one underneath. Oh, not that. 
Yeah, something like this. Do some kind of funky pattern on it with the velocity. Do like a polymetric thing. All right, got a little bit of processing I can do here. I've got this, some things already set up. So I've got a bit of compression. Bit of PsyQ, this is just an EQ. I put it onto this clarity preset. Take this down a bit. And then I never compress it afterwards. And this is more to add color, really. Turn it down a bit. And now I just want to check the volume. It feels a bit loud. And this is how I like to use the limiter. So I'm going to check my limiter and I'll set the kick to wherever I want it to be. Usually I'll set this to minus 10 actually. So just bring this all the way down. Yeah, around here. So the kick is the loudest thing in the track and then I'm going to push this up until the kick is hitting it. So this just kind of gives me an idea of what it would be like when it's mastered or finished. And usually you can hear everything very loud and clear when it's like being pushed into that limiter because you're kind of compressing. So now I can hear maybe the, some things in the drums that need adjusting and fixing. And they're very loud, so we'll just turn them down. Oh, I'm still turning both of them down. So yeah, I apologize, it just got suddenly very loud if you were listening, but... Yeah, just turn it down on your monitor. I'm going to put a little bit of soothe on here as well. There's some little frequencies I kind of want to tidy up. So this is just on the drum group. Yeah, nice. I'm going to put a side chain on here. I've got one set up on the synth group. I'm just going to put it onto this loop. And let's see what it sounds like with a side chain on the drums as well. It might tidy them up a little bit because they are a bit crazy. The thing with breaks is you can put a side chain on drum group because the, the clap doesn't land at the same time as the kick so you get this nice kind of breathing in between the, the drum hits yeah nice all right so now let's add some stuff some other melodic stuff this is where i usually mess up and <laughs> take my time it's uh, not my strength my strength is more the drums um and yeah melodics you know it takes me a bit more work but I'm getting better and better over the over the years. Uh, so yeah, we'll put this into F minor, just so I when I put it onto the scale, it will be fixed to it. Uh, let's find a vocal. I'd like to find vocal before I do anything else. Um, so sometimes I'll search through splice or whatever, or try and work with a vocalist or something because it can kind of inspire the rest of the track and give a bit of a a mood or an idea for the rest of the track before I start adding melodies and all that stuff. Uh, so where are we? Wet. I want to go here. Let's see. I won't go. Don't say it's over. Yeah, like that straight away can work. Let's put this in, turn it down. Don't say it's over. Put loads of shimmer on it. Don't say it's over. And let's form and shift it. Uh, with Complex Pro. Oh no, wait, I'm doing that wrong. Let's see what it's like a fifth down actually. Might be nice. I do like that tone, but actually I'm going to try it with Alter Boy. Don't Oh, 
Oh no, let's put this back. I just like changing the tone of it because if it's like, uh, say it's Splice or, you know, this pack here, maybe the sample's been used a, a lot before, so I don't want it to sound too similar to the original. So I try and do something to it. But a lot of the time, if you end up damaging the sample or making it sound worse to, to do that, then it's not worth doing. But in this case, I'm going to have it like this. It's not really changed it that much. But uh, now I want to kind of find some bits to to add to this. Either I find more samples or I'm going to just chop this up and see if I can get something cool out of chopping it up. So I'll just put this onto here. Splice. Uh, slice. Let's put a bit of like effects on so it's not too dry. And then I'll just... Hopefully you guys can't hear the synth when I play on that. It should just be... Ooh. So maybe we put this a bit less. It's Dover, shout out to Dover. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Hear like a little ringing. Anyway. way too loud let's turn it down hmm, it's not really enough here to work with so maybe we'll find some other thing uh, or maybe let me try one more last attempt maybe just like a small bit put the swing on this doesn't really matter Let's just find it on here. So I need to go kind of after the vocal. Maybe just that, even just every now and again, we just have don't. Uh, yeah, let's actually leave a gap. I kind of want this to not be on the one. I want it to be more landing. Right. So like, don't say yes, and then over, yeah, kind of where it is. Oh, maybe further along. Don't, don't say yes. Mm -hmm. Don't say. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm imagining a big bass here. Okay, let's try. Actually, that's pretty cool. Don't say. Let's just say he lands on it. Okay, cool. Now we'll just do it again here. Or even just copy it like here. I, uh, you'll, you'll notice I arrange pretty weird. I uh, arrange kind of as I'm adding things along as opposed to like making the 16 bar or eight bar loop and then arranging. Yeah, that's good. So now I'll just kind of build out a little bit of what I have. And with this, I'm gonna just try and make it into some cool effect just with the drone. So I'm gonna use like devil lock. 
and Redux. And we just bring the dry wet up. And then bring this right down just kind of here. Oh, there's like a noise coming from my Moog, I think. I can hear like a... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I kind of got used to it. That don't is very weird now. I'll come back to that. This is not crunching as much as I want. I kind of want more. Is it going up? It should be. Yeah, okay, it is. I guess I can just. And we want like a little drum fill beforehand, which I'll just do with this. And probably some cool thing from this. I kind of need a bit more with the vocals, so let's see. This also gets a bit loud, so I'm just going to put a compressor on here. Yeah. Uh, Let's get more vocal. Okay, so where are we? Basic waves. Uh, I won't go. Yeah, it, that kind of works with it. Don't say it's I over. Won't I won't go. You had my love. Could you let me be the? It's tearing me apart. Cause I can't get enough. Hmm. Something smaller. Right. Ah, these will be good. Let's have something like this, very low. Even just fading in here. <laughs> That's definitely very weird. Uh, okay, we'll keep that rolling through. I need to find a way of having it a bit smoother or introducing this a bit more. It just feels a bit like it comes out of nowhere. So I could have it kind of teasing here, like just saying don't say or something like that. Let's just put this on another channel. See, this could work as a bit of a build-up thing, maybe like this. Like that. Or 
like there. Yeah, let's have it there for now. If we get this uh, weird timing. Uh, I'll come back to this. Let's add some melodics and stuff. We've got a bit of a mood going now. Okay, so here, maybe add the bass. I think so. So let's go for sound. Go basic waves. I had a little flick through some of these sounds earlier, so... I have a slight idea, but let's see. Let's have a little play. Oh my god, it's loud. That's pretty cool. Let's come back to that. Yeah, these little things are pretty cool for, like, just here. Yeah, like that, with a little OTT on it. Send it into the reverb. I want more air. Maybe slightly more open. Yeah, okay. We'll have that, and then let's go duplicate this, take this off, take that off. So then here would be whatever that following note would be. Are we in F minor? Yeah, just the F is nice. Wonder what it would be like with a bit of a cool I think I'll I kind of have a little bit of a drum midge beforehand when we're doing it like that maybe actually have this drag over and just filter in Pretty cool. Um, boom, boom. Now I just got to think how to make that into some kind of, uh, I don't know, melody or bass line. I think maybe we get a little bass underneath. Let's see what we got with Serum. Uh, I'll just put like an F in for now. Just do like a rolling, do something like this. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I do that way too often. It's going to give you a tinnitus. 
Okay, so let's see what we got. Base Labs. Let's go with. Let's go from the top. It's still very loud. It's very high. Probably needs to be there. Also, I don't think I've got the swing on here, which will make a difference. Let's loop it. <laughs> Very strange sound. Probably playing it in the wrong uh, octave. Anyway. I don't want these acid things. Maybe that on, come back to it. That's pretty cool. Definitely very moody. Uh, I need to just make sure I'm side chaining, which I think I am. There we go. <laughs> Such a strange bass. Um, okay, I think. Nah, let's do something sustained. So I'll just do sustained or a bit more groovy. The thing about rolling basses, I just find them a little bit like limiting and not that groovy. Uh, so yeah, let's just do something over this period. Let's find something a bit chunky. Yeah, like that. And then let's just fold this. Okay, it's a little stab. more volume second part of it possibly do a progression uh let's go hmm, feels weird doing yeah maybe we just stay on the f actually we could do some little
gonna have a way need to find a way of incorporating this with this um so i think what i'll do is keep this going like this and then just build it <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. We'll just stay in this little loop. And then this needs to move out the way of uh, this. So we call this bass swell. And we'll do pro and B. And we want this actually on to, this is a bit like what I'm doing now is a bit like using like track spacer or but I'm using multiband compression and I'm just going to move uh, this stabby bass out the way of the bass swell so they don't clash. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to put these together. Bass swells and just have both of them assign this to both of them beef swells cool Uh, this sound, I'm not 100% sold on it. Let me just see. Maybe it doesn't need. Mm, it does need that. There's already some width here. Yeah, this. to be a little bit less muffled. Let's just check the volume now because we've added a few elements. So I'll just go into this view here. What I might do is just separate uh, the bass out of this group just because it's a bit easier for me to see. Just put it next to the kick. I do these kind of things of in order of what's important to me in the mix, so like the kick and then the bass and then the drums and then the, the synths. So importance in terms of like the volume. So the kick is here, like 10, and I'm going to have this a little bit quieter, obviously. Oh, I've left that in there. Let's get the... This guy. So we'll put this here. Oh, not yeah. And then we'll put these together. Bass. Yeah, so this is just too loud. Let's come down. Now we'll put the side chain on here. I 
want a little bit more frequencies here. I just have to turn it down a bit because it's clipping. Maybe a little bit of a uh, chorus that I've got here. One, two, three. Maybe I'll put the filter a bit weaker as well. Is there a filter on here as well? No, there isn't. Okay, this EQ is preventing it from opening. There we go. It's important that you have these frequencies here because obviously it won't come through on like some some uh, you know speakers like phones and laptops and all that stuff. And you do have to consider that stuff because that might be how people first hear your music. Obviously the subs are really important for like club systems and stuff and for people that actually listen properly. Uh, but you need to take care of this stuff as well. All right, cool. So we got a nice bassy groove going on. Uh, now let's get maybe some kind of melodics, maybe just a, a simple moody kind of arp. I'm actually going to just I can remove this because I'm not going to use external synths, I don't think. So let's just get Diva up. And let's go basic waves. Uh, let's pick this one. Maybe I'll get just a pluck, I think, and then whoa. It's a very moody, which is kind of what I want, but I want to just have a quick look through there as well. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's see what we got now. So I need to figure a way in between this, the elements I have here, so they're kind of talking to each other. So I think I'll just kind of freestyle a bit. I don't really know the F minus scale though, so I need to just have a look. So. Okay. 
bit too happy for the rest of the track. Yeah, maybe we want something a bit more moody. Let's see. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. So just F's. Just do that, and then yeah, here. Yeah, we can do a little progression here. Let's see. Just duplicate this. Just freestyle something. Simple but effective. So let's just legato them. And probably. This may be here. Yeah, let's do that. something cool going we do still need a bit of a bit of melodic still uh yeah let's keep the hunt going for a cool arp or some kind of pluck uh da -da -da -da. what have i not looked in let's go here <laughs> need to chill with your volume god damn a loud pluck all right so uh let's just get something going with this sound and then i mess with the sound design after so maybe just So I 
want the thing to be a bit. delay yeah, it just sounds much better without the format on I think but it's a lot clearer I still want some kind of uh, chop from this. So I'm going to try again, I think. What if I do... Could work at a certain point. Maybe where it should be. Yeah, just bring this up. Side chain. I apologize sometimes if I just don't talk and I'm just, you know, concentrating. Um I try and I'll try and talk through every step. Um for you guys that want to know. So yeah, just side chaining this melodics group. And let's check the volume here. So this is a good way for me to see if I've got anything that's like overly louder than the kick. So here there's like a build up of sound. Might be the vocal. I think it's probably this bass and drums. Let's bring them down a little bit. Let's come back to the mixing. Let's continue on. So we'll have a little listen here. I kind of want to do this here. So let's try that. Uh, yeah, I've got the original there. So I want to do it like this. Yeah, that's cool. So we won't have all these melodies start at the same time. We'll just move those over there. Delete this. Continue this on. This don't really need now actually we can keep this going every now and again don't 
Okay, so we got a, a bit of a first drop. I think from here, possibly, I would go to a bridge. Um, but it's still very short. So maybe we need, we need a bit longer of an intro. Um, let's get some of the little melodics and things going on here. Maybe like here. This is also very deep. Let's take away some reverb, uh, some some bass frequencies. So, like this. a little bit of a white noisy thing here uh, see what effects there is in here uh, tonal. not tonal kind of just want a That could be cool. Let's just put something, kind of want like a sweep in. That's very loud. That could actually work very well here. And just have it go into the clap, which is like this, I think. Yeah, just like that. And maybe some sweep. Is there a sweep in here? Even let's just grab this. I feel like this is too often, so we'll just have that every now and again. This sound and melody could be better. It's like when that comes in, it's where the track kind of falls apart. So maybe I'll rework this. But I think for now, I'm going to just build the bridge out and then come back to that. So we'll just have this atmosphere running through. This sweep thing, it was a little bit too obvious. I like to have sweeps and stuff, but it's more subtle. I have it on its own channel and just turn it down. I'm just drowning reverb. 
So then for this part here, we can have the drums evolve a little bit more. So we can have like a... snare to come out a little bit more. Okay, so then the drums will carry on rolling through probably till like here. And I'll just filter them down. Have this guy playing through. Here, have our bridge. Uh, filter these down. Ah, oh, I've, the, I've had this filtered the whole time. <laughs> this is uh, supposed to be a bit more open. So it'll be a bit brighter now. Yeah, I really don't like this sound now, so I'm going to change this. Let's, uh, I'm going to spend a bit of time on this, try and get it right, because it's pretty important. It's kind of the thing hooking the track. Um, so I think I'll, yeah, I guess I should just work on it here. Have a bit of water. Right. I actually don't know how long I've been filming for. There's no timer anywhere, but yeah, I don't think it's been uh, too long. Okay, so what should I do here? I think I might do, like, one of my favorite things to do is just, like, chord stabs. And it does, it might make the track a bit more uplifting, but if I can make them cool, then, um, and if I make the chords kind of cool, then it might not sound too uplifting, because I want it to stay moody. So, let's get rid of this. Let's start with the F. The thing is I'll have to maybe move all the other bass notes around it. If I do anything like deviating off this F, I can come back to that. So let's just do the F and the and the third, an octave up. And I'll just get some kind of rhythm. Let's take the delay off, because it's going to be a pain. And let's go down here. Yeah, this sound, it's like ringing out too much. I don't want the release on here, so. Yeah, that's a bit more subtle. Let's have that. All right, so let's get a cool groove. Maybe we start on the one. I think the velocity is a bit low on this. I like how weird that timing is. I think I might keep that going. Let's do that. All right, now let's try it with building some chords out more. So we got the third in here. Let's add the fifth. Ah, I 
it might be on mono. Let's see what it's like out of mono. Oh, it is Polly. Five voices. Let's have. A bit more open. Maybe a bit of glide might be fun. That's kind of cool, but I might just add higher octaves like later on so if i bring it down here so it stays kind of moody and then i'm glad that i didn't um stay on the melody i had before because this is much better but okay so we're gonna go maybe let's see uh change here I mean, that works. It's very predictable, but I can make it a bit more interesting. What I might do is make these notes a bit longer, just so I can have fun with them. So now we're following this progression, I believe, uh, there and then B. Maybe it's a bit different. Kind of want to follow this F and then here, yeah, following the B, yeah. And let's just see what it's like if the bass follows that as well. I guess I could do that here. Uh, we just go like this. Focus on that. That's good. Um, and then we'll do this. And then these swells, maybe if this landed on the same note as that. So we go, oh, it's very confusing. Let's just do this as a section. To change the color of it so we look here change this one we land up here so we have this room boom boom and this i don't think i need to change this one but let's just see it might sound good So if this, this goes to the... And if this was on the B... Can't really hear it right now anyway. Uh, I think later on I'll, I'll put a bit more, I'll, I'll fix the mix. But okay, we've got a little section now. And the good thing with adding melodies or like, you know, a progression, it just kind of gives a bit of a story to the track. So now I kind of build on this and, you know, it gives me a bit of direction. And I just stay on like the single note. I get a little bit stuck. But 
let's keep this rolling here. So we're going to this bridge. So yeah, it's very loud. Let's turn this down a bit. And then we'll have this here. Maybe I kind of want this thing to have a moment on its own, so I might just chill some of the atmosphere stuff around it. Like this, we'll turn it down or just fade it away. Base, I need to fade it away. I think also the rhythm of this bass might need to complement this a bit more. But we can come back to that. I think for now I'll just leave it as it is. Filter the yeah, filter it away here. So yeah, it kind of like disturbs it a bit. I think I'm just going to fix that now. So it's like this. Yeah, there we go. That's probably going to be the same for all these. Let me just fix this. Yeah. Really, these are like f fine details I should be fixing later on, but I, I struggle to move on if I uh, there's something bothering me. So, is what it is. All right, cool. So we're here now. We want to play around. I basically want to play around with this stuff and the uh, arp or the pluck. Sorry. So I want to filter. I'm going to put this filter just on this sub. And we'll make this a lot a bit longer. Do it uh duplicate. First, I'm going to build these chords, so do this. Ooh. And yeah, let's develop the... Okay, so what I'll do... Let's just get like uh, this note here. So basically just taking the, I should do it like this, or even like this. So 
So we take this bottom note, uh, add it here, and then you go up an octave. So it's adding, I think this is the ninth or something like that, probably wrong. something like that. Duplicate it. And here I might change the progression a bit, so... It does feel a bit random going to that note here, so maybe we do go back up to there. Voicing wasn't so maybe like this. Yeah, also I just wanna do a little bit of fixing on the sound. So maybe we could filter it down. I think I'm gonna use this. Right here, and then come back up. Yeah, and then let's maybe get a, um, a bit of paddage in here. So we'll get all piano, just a layer behind it. Put the velocity down on this. So I kind of want this bridge to be very pretty and then go back into moody drop. That's what I'm, I'm planning in my head. So let's see. Uh, let's take that away. Also, these wash effects are a bit weird here. Uh, so I think what I'll do is just put the drop here. We'll do maybe this drop. Put 
put this right here. Pretty sick, but uh, maybe a bit more of tension and whatnot here. This, I don't really know what I'm doing with it. It's just playing through. So maybe uh, I kind of want it to build or do something on it. I might just put like an echo on it. And just play with the echo. Maybe have some drums coming in. Maybe just the hats. Let's get a bit of the old data life on here. Cheat code. Love this guy. Uh, so put this here. Da, 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 da. need some evolution though so maybe the evolution will come after like here so yeah let's duplicate this out and I'll come to that in a minute I'm not sure I'm done with the bridge yet so I kind of want yeah like a pad and let's get a pad I'm sure there's some very lovely pads in here I don't really need. Okay, cool. I'm just thinking whether I need to add some additional bits here. 
let's have this pad here as well like just for the drop to evolve and I guess yeah what I'll do so for here we can have these evolved chords here gonna make it a little less harsh and you see it's clipping a bit so and so here we need to have the track uh, the rest of the elements maybe move with that so just do this uh, this one so we go down instead to the D now we're going down down two, and then we're going to the A same with some of this stuff da, 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 da. this is going down to here and then going to A So here we need a bit of evolution maybe with the drums. So we go, let's see, maybe just a case of layering. Have a look, look on the master if you like. Yeah, this thing is pretty loud. All right, so uh, <laughs> it's still a very short track. Only two minutes in, it's because it's so quick. So it's just, uh, yeah, it needs to be a lot longer. So I think I'll have a section here now where I'm just grooving. So we go here, maybe less melodics, more just bass. Uh, so we can go, maybe take this away. And here, maybe we could do a bit more on this. We could do something like, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Something weird like that, it's cool. Uh, can I need to copy that over? So we go like this. Uh, just here. Like that.
um, back to the sea. Do something with this. Uh, this boom boom. So this thing here. Um, not sure what we could do. Let's have it here. Yeah, just that. Alright, so let's have a little play through. So what I think I might need to do is not give away so much of the track early on. So let's see what we can get away with not having. really not have that play there because um, you kind of want to introduce it here. These elements here need to be a bit bolder, so I'm going to just bring them up a bit. Especially this one. Uh, no, this one. Feedback to be higher than this needs to be continuous. That was not better, that's for you. This overdrive is a bit obvious, uh, so I'm going to just reduce it a little bit here. Maybe in the dropper, leave it how it is because it kind of comes through in the mix a bit more. But here it's a bit too distorted. Maybe not even have it there. Let's get this vocal thing here just to kind of tease it.
So maybe these womp womp, they need to chill here again, not have the uh, the overdrive on it. Uh, and maybe it's a little bit too dead, so I'm going to just put maybe this drone back in. I can somehow fit in a piano. That would be cool. Uh, but I have no idea how that's going to work. Let's see. So, go here. I think maybe just the sustain chords here. So I'll take these. Uh, control C. bit cheesy with it like that, maybe not. Let's try it on the noir. Hmm, I think I kind of want this. Need to compress this as well so now i'm kind of building a bit of the climax we're going up to it's not going to be a very long track uh, it's going to be probably like mm, this section maybe one more time so coming up to like three and a bit as a radio edit So then here, I need more evolution, more building on the chords. Let's see what else we can add. Let's go further with the drums as well. And this can keep getting like more crazy and bolder just to enhance it. So we can go, let's try adding quite a bit of drive here. And then this, maybe we do something here. Yeah. the weirdness in that but maybe it could be a bit safer like this boom, boom, boom. yeah I like that let's 
nice and weird. And then we want to continue this on. I think I'll just loop this. Oh, apologize if you guys can hear that. They're doing some, they're building a uh, train thing underneath my, uh, a train tunnel, that was the word, underneath the flats. So we get these really loud drilling every now and again. But anyway, so yeah, continue this on, but it needs to follow the bass. <laughs> Let's just see if I put this here. Uh, there, yeah. And then this one is could go down here. I'm missing a uh, one here. Yeah. Maybe this G. Let me just try a different note here. Yeah. And then there. Cool. Now we got even more evolution. So the track is building. Could do that here. Let's just see, instead of there. So here, really, uh, I'm going to just copy over. Um, how am I going to do this? I want to copy all of this over. It might be a bit long of a drop, but I'm just going to commit to it. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'll need to cut short some parts. Like, um, yeah, maybe just... I do this moment, I do it here instead, but we'll see. I'll just copy this kick over. But I want to see how much I can keep like climaxing, climaxing, if that's a word, how much I can keep building the track uh, without getting boring or repetitive. Like that, that could work. Don't say it's over. I mean, I'm just repeating this vocal all the way through. Maybe I needed more of a hook. But I'm happy with that. I actually haven't saved this whole time, which is ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I'm going to save it now. Uh, here. Just call it basic waves. Ting. All right, let's have a little play through. Once it's loaded. And I'm just going to collect all and save as well because it might mess up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would do like a little extended outro, but I think for a radio edit, this works. Like as in the length. 
I aim between three and four minutes. Okay. Are we all good? Let's have a play. Did some very quick uh, mastering on the fly there. Um, just a bit of soothe and some compression. I could obviously go a bit further, but I think uh, for this, I, I yeah, don't want to go too far with that. I'm, I think it's sounding good. I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe I would try and find some other um, part of this. So it's not just, don't say it's over all the way through, but it does work. Um, it's nice and simple and effective. Uh, yeah. I think that is a wrap. So yeah, thank you for watching this one, guys. Uh, thank you, Jules, for having me on the, the channel. It's been a lot of fun. I'll try and get this one um, more polished off and hopefully signed to Anjuna um, or Colorize or wherever. We'll see. So uh, yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. P please check out my uh, channel if you uh, want to see more of my start-to-finish stuff. It's called Out of the Loop um, here on YouTube. But yeah, cool. Peace.